Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Or if you're watching on YouTube, only watch this when you can safely close your eyes. Although the idea of watching something and closing your eyes may seem like a strange concept. But the reason I have to kind of let say this is because this uh, let me bore you to sleep <sighs> recording might bore you to sleep. And closing your eyes is part of the process of sleeping for most people I mean I know that some people are able to sleep with their eyes open not a superpower that I would want but uh even so don't listen to this if you're swimming the channel or if you're learning Morse code that doesn't even make sense so it's just basically me talking and I haven't made one of these recordings for I don't know how long might be about a week I think I think because I have been busy not busy but I've been trying to make some other recordings which aren't let me bore you to sleep for example, I have managed to record a deep sleep whisper hypnosis session pretty much daily for quite a few days. And I have also been uh, making daily hypnosis recordings as well which are very different from this very different from the deep sleep whispers it's just different stuff different uh, that the daily hypnosis sessions are very much aimed at uplifting positivity um transformational work and instead of just falling asleep although although the sleep recordings also can help you in other ways which you may have noticed. 
so I'm going to say hello to a few people before I continue with this recording. I'm going to say hello to Rachel. I want to say hello to John. I want to say hello to Katakite. My uh, YouTube friends. I'd like to say hello to Sebastian. Say hello to Brooke. I'm trying to think of some other names, but they're the names that are coming to mind. Uh, there are other people I know that listen to my sessions. Uh, watch my videos but there's some that really seem to like the let me bore you to sleep recordings there's some that really like the deep sleep recordings uh, the, the whisper ones uh, just as far as the the sleepy stuff goes so I'm trying to keep up and cater for everybody. Another podcast that's really popular is the Weekly Sleep. Is it Sleep Weekly podcast? And I only ever made seven of those, but they're one of my it's one of my most popular podcasts. So I'm thinking of starting to add more, you know, do a, an extra one each week for those people that are enjoying that podcast and hopefully benefiting from that podcast. But in order for me to do that, I need to listen to the the sessions in that podcast just to get an idea of what I was what the format of it because it may have been a very conversational recording or it may have been straight to the point or it may have been really hypnosis you know quite uh, thick hypnotic -y stuff or it might have just been very vague. So I need to listen to see what kind of stuff I was talking about. So I can get back into that frame of mind and make more recordings that fit together with previous ones. Mind you saying that. These let me bore you to sleep sessions are not all the same. Luckily, they'd be a bit boring. Well, they are boring, but they'd be... I suppose by not the same, I mean... They're different. They're boring in their own way. I suppose so I really should just not let you know kind of what I've been doing this week since I last recorded a, a session um, but I can't remember what day it was or um what I've actually done this week I'm trying to think I moved Andre's cage out of the living room into the storage room 
because he's been he's been a bit naughty to be fair late last few days he's been you know scratching at the door uh, just causing havoc so I decided to put him into the storage room because I had to put him into the cage here and he was just basically rattling the cage trying to get out causing a a very how is your father scenario very very uh I basically wanted to put him on a naughty step. That's that's where he was with that. He's been naughty. And I had him in the storage room overnight for two nights. And I went to get him out of there today. And within his cage he's got he's got a hammock at the top that he can sleep in but he's also got a big brown um, uh, cosy space where he can sleep in as well so when I went into the into the storage room and when I say storage room it's a big room it's uh, it's not like full of stuff and you know you have to like move stuff to get to the cage it's you know it's there's plenty of room uh, and there's not that much stuff in there and that's where his cage used to be when I first got him his cage was always in there for the first uh, six months maybe I think it was. It was in. It was there for quite a while at some point. But anyway, he he was in his brown, comfortable place. That sounds weird. He was in his <laughs> he was in his cubby hole. I don't know what you want to call it. He wouldn't come out. And I was trying to get him out, and he was like biting me. Not hard, but just get off, get off. But I don't know why he didn't want to. Because I'm not going to leave the door open to the storage room. So, in the end, I got him out, and I brought him out. And but then he was trying to get back into the into the the storage room. So I brought the cage out. put it back in the living room in here with me and he was trying to get back into the storage room so I don't know if that's where he wants to be maybe that's he felt comfortable again because that's where he used to be only at night only you know when he was asleep the rest of the time he was out you know when I'm awake he's awake or when I'm awake he's out of the cage he can do what he wants but when I go to bed he goes to bed those is the rules he's not always happy about those rules but quite often he's so so tired that I just I pick him up and I just put him in, you know, put him in the hammock at the top of the cage and he's just asleep. He's completely zonked out. So it really does depend on when I can get him. You know, if, if he's really, really tired, then he just goes to bed he just goes to sleep regardless of where he is even if I pick him up and I just put him on my lap while I'm watching telly he'll just still be asleep sometimes I can cut his 
fingernails and he'll still be asleep while I'm doing it but that's rare but lately the last week or so every time I move I go to the toilet or go to the kitchen he'll jump up out of his bag and follow me and he wants to go out constantly and I do take him out even if it's just you know uh just out the front or just outside I don't necessarily go for like a long walk or anything but he's just constantly wanting to to go out I don't know why because it's it's not even doesn't even seem like the right time of the year for him it's like his seasons are all out of whack because it's the winter it's not I think the same with the birds. The birds are in the trees. Well, they're not, I don't know if they're in the trees now. But they're like whistling and singing and like, like it's spring. And admittedly, it soon will be spring because it's the end of the month. I think the last day of January will be this coming Thursday which is which Sunday today so the last day of the month will be so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so four more days And then it's be, it'll be February, so that makes it. I think there's thirty one days in January. So thirty one would be Thursday. Thirty would be Wednesday. Twenty nine would be Wednesday. No. Thursday would be 31. Wednesday would be 30. Tuesday would be 29. Monday would be 28. So today, 27. So today must be Sunday the 27th of January 2019 so tomorrow will be Monday the 28th of January 2019 then the next day will be Tuesday the 29th January 2019 and then Wednesday the 30th of January 2019 and then lastly it will be be Thursday the 30th of January 2019 the 31st did I say 30? I meant 31st but I might have said 31st of January 2019 which means Friday 
will be the 1st of February 2019. Here's an interesting fact. I'm going to treat you to something that you may not have known. Something that is amazing and it doesn't really fit in with the boringness of this, but I think it's pretty exciting. Did you know that my name is the only name in the calendar? And you may think, what do you mean? Your name is the only name in the calendar. Well, here we go. You ready? The first letter of each month. So you got J for January. F for February, M for March, A for April, M for May, J for June, J for July, A for August, S for September, O for October, N for November, D for December. So let's backtrack to my name. J for July, A for August, S for September, O for October, N for November, J A S O N, Jason, July, August, September, October, November and my birthday is in August and Christmas is in December but December isn't part of it so I might as well just forget about that bit so July, August, September October, November Jason as far as I'm aware There are no other names in the alphabet. By using that technique, you know, the J for January, was it F for February, M for March, A for April, M for May, J for June, J for July, a for August, S for C September, O for October, N for November, D for December. So July, August, September, October, November, J A S O N is the only name that I can figure out within the alphabet aspect of the calendar of the months with the first letter.
isn't that exciting? I know I know that some people are called you know, they're named after a month. Not a month, they're not called a month. What's your name? My name's Trudy. What's your name? My name's John. What's your name? I'm a month. No, it wouldn't wouldn't work. A month? What 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 is that about? It would uh, cause confusion amongst Kit Kat eaters. I bought some Kit Kat. They're only like two fingers. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my mouth has got bigger. Or Kit Kats have got smaller. I've never really classed my mouth as being big. Although I've got a lot in there at times. But the Kit Kats just seem really small. Never known of anyone called January. Although, wasn't the girl from um, what was that film? Do 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 Not the monsters, but the. Adam's family wasn't the young girl in that called January so I don't know anyone called January unless of course she was but like real people no offence to her you know she, I know she, but she was a character and I'm thinking February never heard of anybody called February March no, never heard of anybody called March April is a name that I've heard I'm not sure if I've actually met anyone called April but I know that some people are called April uh, female names I think generally well there is no reason why a month should be should have any kind of male or female identity attached to it April should be available for men boys or girls really shouldn't it because it's April is if anything April is uh, I don't know what does April represent it's spring but then March is spring as well isn't it April daffodils hmm no actually I have met one person called April yeah did meet one person so May May is quite a popular name but maybe not in the west of the world so I think the, the name May for a first name is I think some parts of the world have adopted that name. It's 
So I'm guessing out of all of them, probably May would be the most popular month out of the year that is used to name humans. What's next? June. So I've only known one person called June. No, two people, two people. So there are, you know, I'm sure there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people called June. But I've only met two in my travels. Now, July, never, ever, ever have I met or even heard of anybody that has been named July. I don't know of anybody. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened. I haven't been everywhere. I haven't met every one. You know, I don't know, but I don't know anybody that's called July. So what's next? August. Now, I feel a mixed mixed uh, sense with this month name August it's possibly because you know in August my birthday and two of my brother's birthdays are in August so August was always uh, a memorable month throughout my life uh, childhood and stuff and it's also one of the best months of the year potentially you know for weather you know July August kind of summery kind of time and it's bright outside days are long I think doesn't August have the longest day I might be wrong however I don't recall ever hearing of a person Called August. However, there's a part of me that feels that there is a very obvious person who has been called August, but that person is evading my mind right now. I can't think of them. So, I don't know. August. This sounds like a name that could be used. But I don't know of anybody. So, September. I can't imagine anybody being called September. But it's a nice name though. September. I can understand why people call their kids May. It's easy, isn't it? It's easy to spell. September is quite a long name. S 
Sep Temba So what's the other October October hundred percent I don't think anybody's ever been called October but they probably have just doesn't sound like a name that would be used for somebody but just because I haven't I've never met anybody called October there may be lots of people but I've never met anyone so I don't know if there is so November a little bit like August I don't think I've ever met anybody called November but I had this little niggle little little niggle in my brain saying yeah there's definitely a famous person called November but I just can't think who it is and then you've got December now I've never ever met anyone called December no December it just doesn't really sound like a, a name does it sounds like a name of a month I, I know obviously because it is but December I don't know I think nowadays without coming across as old what I've noticed just from a, a distance is people seem to no longer name their children after relatives rather just after somebody they like maybe a, you know from a television program or a film or uh, maybe just a, a popular name of the, of the time so for example with my dad see my nan and granddad they had five children so there was my dad, his two brothers, and his two sisters. So there's a five of them. Now one of his sisters was named after my nan. Exactly the same name. So my nan and granddad their first daughter was named after my nan their, you know, her mother and the first son was named after my granddad his dad exactly the same first names And as far as I'm aware, 
the other names, the other other names, the other people, my uncles, my aunt, my aunt and uncle and my dad were named after other like family members. I do wonder what it was like in their household and my nan and granddad talking to each other and using each other's names and then their son and daughter who all had the same names as their you know the daughter having the same name as the mother and the son having the same name as the father wouldn't it get confusing you know how was how was work today Eddie what do you mean mum I don't go to work I'm only five be a bit, you know. Or it could go the other way, couldn't it? How was school today, Eileen? I don't go to school. I'm forty seven. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to our daughter. But she's left school. She's 19, she hasn't been at school for two years. Yeah, but this was just part of a, a point, really, just to, you know, about having the same name and how it could be confusing. Oh, why is that then? It's, uh, it's Jason, he's doing one of those let me bore you to sleep recordings. And he's run out of things to talk about, so he's doing some weird conversation between us that never happened. Who's Jason? Oh, he's the grandchild that we haven't had yet. It's it's a long story, but you'll meet him in about uh, ten years. Oh. Well, what's he like? What's what's what kind of what, what kind of person is he? Uh, well, he's got dark hair. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really going to make much effort with him. <laughs> I'm not. I'll probably speak to him a couple of times. But. Uh, I think you'll probably get on right with him. He's a bit feminine, really. What do you mean? Well, in touch with his emotions, and you know, he he thinks about things. And he doesn't doesn't bottle it all up. And yeah, that was not that's not necessarily a feminine thing, is it? Yeah, but for me, I just prefer to not talk about things, you know, 
and just get on with get on with life get on with my job and that's that's okay too you're a good man it's everybody's different yeah I suppose so but he you know he's very different well, what do you mean? He's just, I don't know. A little bit unusual. A bit, um, hard to, very hard to get to know, really. I thought you said he was in touch with his feelings. Yeah, but he doesn't necessarily let those feelings be known. He's, uh, I don't know really know how to explain it. But he's very focused. Kind of knows what he likes doing. But he's, I don't know, he is what he is, I suppose. Oh. Do you think you'll like eating cakes? Yeah, I reckon he will. After all, you're you're a wonderful baker. You make lovely cakes. I've been very fortunate to marry such an amazing woman that has looked after me, gave me a wonderful family. On top of that, you're a great cook. And to make some beautiful tasting cakes. Oh, thank you. You don't say much, but when you when you do say nice things, it makes me feel very happy. Oh, that's all right. You know, uh, you know, I love you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think um, I think you and Jason will be quite close. For some reason he's going to be able to connect with you. Oh, that's, a, that's nice. The one thing he will struggle to do, though. What's that? is he won't be able to do your voice if he ever tries to do your voice it will sound silly it won't sound anything like you what do you mean well like right now first of all I this isn't how I sound and you definitely didn't sound like that Hmm. What do you mean? I mean, that's that. <laughs> that's not the voice that you had. But I imagine he's doing his best. You know, he's doing what he can. And um, he's probably thinking that it's gone on a bit too long now. He'd like to find a way to end this particular conversation that isn't really happening between his grandparents that supposedly happened before he was born. And he's forgotten the reason why it even started or how it started. 
Hey, boys. So, um, July, August, September, October, November. It's my name, and that's in the it's not in the alphabet, it's in the calendar. The first letter of each month. And in a way, I think that's quite groovy. It's a groovy, groovy thing. And uh, I like groovy things. I'm not sure when I very first noticed it. I may have been about 14 and I used to buy these magazines or this particular magazine I forget what it was called but it used to have astrology uh, it used to be about astrology and uh, kind of paranormal esoteric kind of stuff and I just remember seeing the calendar with but just instead of the whole of the name of each month it used to just they used just the first letter of the name of each bump. So it's J F M A M J J A S O N D. Is that that's, that's eleven months, is it? Let's do this again. So J F M A M J J A S O N D and I was looking at that. So I looked at the J for January, and then the F for February, and nothing, you know, it's like just. And then the M for March, just so there's no name there. Then the A for April, M for May. So March, April, May, MAM. I mean, that's some people called their mother's MAM or M A MA White MA on back MA. Let me twenty pound MA. So I suppose that's a thing. Or you've got the letters. A M April May so it's am I am going please don't call the police I am leaving I am doing my trousers up and you know, whatever you know this I'm putting my socks back on so A M April, May, J, 
for June, J for July. So JJ, of course, sometimes people call me JJ, but uh, June, July, August, September, J, ja, Chase, Jas, on, Jason, December at the end, D. So my name is the only one in the whole of the calendar. I want to say my name. I don't mean just my name. I do appreciate that there are other people around the world that also have a beautiful name of Jason. There are, in fact, there's other people with the, the name Jason Newland online. There is a cage fighter, there is a doctor, uh, lots of different kind of, lots of different people. I'm kind of at the top of the list in the sense of if you put my name in, my website comes up at the top of Google. But that's just because I've been around a long time. And I've been doing this for some some time now. Thirteen is it thirteen years? Oh, let's work it out. Two thousand and six 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 so yeah 13 years I've been doing this thingy and on that note I'm going to go thank you for listening speak to you next time Bye.